Today is a typical market day in Boga, and the news team visited the dog market. We ran into Madame Ann Amda, who sells dog meat. So is the bargaining difficult here? It's difficult. What they are saying, I bought one, 103. And I bought some one more. So what he's saying, that's 3.2 for me. Okay. I, I want you to go and come out, pay you. Hey! Before the one who will come out, go. Okay. Hey, hey, so much is deeper. It's three million. It's what? Until somebody go beat me here, I want some more medicine. Two hundred and fifty grams. So, 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 so there's risk involved as well. Hey. A strong and a healthy dog sells between two hundred and one twenty cities. This is much more expensive than the same size of a goat, which sells between one twenty and hundred cities. This size is 1.3, 130, that's the old cities. And it shows you that the delicacy here for goats is not that much like for the dog. Though the price of the dog is higher than the goat in this part of the country. And unlike Accra, where people really prefer the goat to the dog, here is vice versa. Dog meat today is consumed in many parts of Ghana, but in the Upper East and Northern regions, it is believed to be a cultural delicacy among the Frafra and Dagaba. The dog has performing. Then the dog meat also has something protect for human being. Yeah, because of the dog. Those who take in dog, that doesn't have any disease for their body. But health experts caution against some possible dangers if it is not well handled. Criticisms from organizations such as World Animal Protection have been increasingly directed against dog meat consumption and the torture of dogs caged and farmed for their meat. In response, proponents of dog meat have argued that distinctions between livestock and pet is subjective and that there is no difference in eating the meat of different animals. Nana Kwekwedia, TV3 News. Uh, take it to where they prepare them and uh, the preparation will start. Uh